The rocket ship is just launched. Here comes the ultimate warrior. Well, here's the man to be the first person to be crowned a double champion at WrestleMania. Yeah, who could forget that moment at WrestleMania 6 inside the Toronto Sky Dome. It was the ultimate challenge where the ultimate warrior defeated Hulk Hogan to claim both the Intercontinental and World Championship. I remember it like it was yesterday. The whole world felt the power of the warrior. The largest competitor in the history of WWE. Yokozuna, very familiar with success at WrestleMania, defeated Bret Hart for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 9. Yeah, but Yoko also owns the dubious distinction of being the only man to win and lose the WWE title at the same WrestleMania. Well, I'd venture to say that Yokozuna plans on winning here tonight. company. This is what this match is about. No disqualifications, no countouts, no pinfalls, no submissions. Beat the hell out of your opponent till they can't make it to their feet by a count of 10. And we're underway. Saw that one coming, took advantage. outside. 
This could be good. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. He switches it back around. Oh, nice bulldog. Last man standing is obviously a very unique type of match. Corey, how does that change a competitor's in-ring strategy? If you're wise, you're going to want to hold back a little more than usual here. That's because you always want to have a little gas in the tank so you can rally after a big hit. If you go all out immediately, you're just going to be making... And ready to keep going, it looks like. In the corner, he goes. Dragon gets a pony on the corner of the thunderous headbutt from Yoko. It is only going to get worse for the opponent of Yoko Zuna. From the middle row. Onside drop. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. yet. Vicious right forearm. Oh, and the Warrior reverses. Close line. Ooh. Oh, God. And he's taking this to the outside now. And he's pulled the ring apron up looking under there for something. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. It's a table. I'm not sure what he's scheming, but it can't be good. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's got a kendo stick. A weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. Jumping headbutt. Yokozuna turning up the intimidation factor. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Shoulder tackle. Big four. This is either grit, insanity, or a little bit of both. And Warrior moves. Yoko Zuna gets reversed. Oh, tracking the kendo stick across the head. Able to get the advantage here. Put in position now. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. Hitting the ropes. Devastating leg drop. That was the work of a one-of-a-kind superstar. Once again, Yokozuna has delivered. He turns it around. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the front. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. Boom. This doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like trying to end someone's career. This chains of Mick Foley at WrestleMania. And we know how that Yokozuna just manhandling his opponent. Big headbutt. Oh, I think we know what Yokozuna is thinking. Up to the second rope. This is going to be a bonsai drop. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Beats the 10 count. Going to push off through the match. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Face buster. 
The champ not looking great. The Warriors got him. We can have a new champion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. We are witnessing uh -oh. punching their way out of that one. Oh man, like it hit by a brick wall. Everyone is out of their seats right now. All eyes are glued on the action in front of it. This is turning into Swanson Street. up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. Two. That stops the count, so this match will roll on. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Never to do for being returned with counter fire. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. He's outside the ring now. 
Hope he's got a plan. Yokozuna only gets that look when he's about to attack or eat. A count of seven. Is this really it? Ooh. Yokozuna gets countered. These two battling to... A bear hug squeezes the breath out of them. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Feel Byron.